What's up guys, this is Ryan Knows Tech with techinform.us and today's video is about something I just stumbled across on uh, MacRumors.com. If you don't know, it's a pretty big blog, MacRumors. It's pretty self-explanatory, except it doesn't always have to do with Macs, lots of technology. It's a nice site. Link should be down below if I can remember to put it there. And uh, this actual post was about the US market share in smartphones. If you see me looking to my right, my large screens over here, I can see these two charts. For you, they're probably to the left, maybe I'll put them to the right. Um, and uh, we're going to start by talking about the pie graph on top. You can see that only 29.7% of people are using smartphones. I actually would have guessed it'd be nearly double that. I expected about half the people to be using smartphones. Uh, regular phones, 70%, 70.3%. That's a lot of people that, you know, just like a flip phone or a, or a slider. And this was October 2009. These results are from the Nielsen Company. So, you know, they're probably not spot on, but probably pretty good. Um, breaking that down even more, we're going to see that the BlackBerry OS and the iPhone OS, iOS, are very similar here. They're only about 0.5% um, different, except the iPhone is 0.5 ahead, which I'm glad to see. And I attribute so much use to the BlackBerry for business. It's a very secure operating environment, lots of apps. Uh, it's secure and uh, it's it's really safe and secure for businesses so I guess that's important with a business Android OS 22.7 that's definitely grown I only expect it to grow from here will it surpass iOS I think that it will sometime um, depending on what Apple does with iOS 5 it'll be interesting there and then there's Palm Linux Symbian if that's how you say it I mean they're all below three and a half percent and then it looks like Windows Mobile is hanging in there at just about 14%. I don't know if Windows Phone 7 is and will be included into that. I would guess that it is. Um, but I, I would have expected BlackBerry to be larger than Apple. And Apple is you know only 0.5% higher, but that's interesting. At the second uh, graph here, which you've probably been reading, which is down below, it uh, breaks down the ages here from different users between iOS, Android, Blackberry, Windows Mobile, other and not sure. And I think it's funny that the black color, not sure, only rises with age. I mean, that's just funny. Um, with iOS, it looks like the younger you are, you're, you're gonna be using iOS. It declines as the age increases. Android, kind of the same feel. It looks like a lot of, a lot of younger people are using um, Android and iOS, whereas the older people seem to be using Red, which is BlackBerry, that makes sense with business users, and uh, definitely Windows Mobile, which also makes sense with business users and PC diehards like my friend's dad. Um, other looks like that uh, is a little lower, and then it actually it's lower as you get older. So I don't I'm not, don't really, don't really know what's up with that. And then there's not sure, which as I mentioned before, just gets bigger it increases as your age goes up so thought that'd be an interesting breakdown um, for the record I spent the last hour of my life I actually wasted the last hour of my life working on my ThinkPad over here trying to get my Logitech camera which I threw in the ground somewhere around here to work it used to work it never worked on the Mac for some reason but it always worked on the PC and Camtasia studio I plug it in tell it to use that camera and click record and then it goes and it uses the built-in webcam like four or five times. I updated Camtasia, I rebooted, I cleared the temporary files. I disabled the webcam and uninstalled the driver for the built-in webcam in Device Manager and then rebooted and opened the application. The preview worked fine. It showed me what was live going on with the webcam and the preview. You click record and then it just says there's a, a back-end error and it's not plugged in and it can't find it. And it says the same thing on the Mac. So I'm about ready to throw that microphone or that uh, webcam out the window. I was going to try to do some app reviews today as requested, but looks like I can't do those anymore until I get a new camera, which isn't going to happen soon, and the eyesight's just not good enough for it. Neither is the flip. So uh, thanks for putting up with me there. I hope that you uh, enjoyed reading these. Uh, leave some comments with what you expect below. Um, were you surprised that with any of these results? Were they what you expected? What do you use? Do you use like a regular flip phone? What service are you on? Do you like it? I love reading this kind of stuff from you guys. I love these polls. Um, what do you like about your service? What do you not like about your service? What phone do you like? Do you want? Have you had? Get creative. Leave me whatever you want. Look forward to reading and replying to those. Our website, as I mentioned before, is back up, techinform.us. Try to switch back over to my desktop here. Maybe not. Safari's already open. But techinform.us, that's our site. Uh, my Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then catch us live Tuesday nights from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. 
So I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video or in next week's stream.